Well, hello, Coffee Turn friends. How y'all doing? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Look at Mama. She's in her green. Yeah. I didn't even find any green this morning. I thought, eh, I must have to. Those I don't know. I must have been in there to be ironed because I'm on a rotation. Oh. I do that. I'll have seven shirts. I'll wash them, iron them. I'll fix them the next weekend. That's what I'll wear the next week. Y'all see me all the time the same thing, but I'm not about fashion. This ain't, oh, I ain't no fashionista. <laughs> I just want it clean and pressed. That's not go. Mama, we're having ribeyes today, and we're going to have some cooked cabbage. Got my kettle right here. And I love cooked cabbage. Just love it. Mama loves it, so it's a treat for us to have it uh, for St. Patrick's Day or any other time. Do you all like cooked cabbage? I sure do. Down yeah. here. Mama, what do you got there in your bow? I didn't I notice. I just want you to prime some salt over these two baked potatoes. I didn't even think about the potatoes. You think I'm going to hold up and go? Yeah, I'm just ready to reach that salt. All right, ma'am. Here's the pink Himalayan salt. This is going to be in the stack cooker. This is Mama's Tupperware, and that's just pink Himalayan salt, and that's olive oil mm -hmm. over some Irish potatoes. I guess we're celebrating the Irish all the way around. All right, what a wonderful, wonderful meal. I believe our heritage traces back to some Irish said in Mama. Yeah. So, happy St. Patrick's Day. We've got a little bit of green cabbage going here. It takes more cabbage than you think, is what I always tell people. Same way with kilt or wilted lettuce. Make a big old pile of it, because it's going to go down. So let's just put our cabbage right here in this kettle. And you, it doesn't matter how you cut it, you can dice it, you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, but this is some good cooked cabbage. Now I've got the ribeyes already on cooking and I don't want to overcook them. So I'm going to pause just a second here and make sure and turn them. And the cabbage is good to go. But I'm going to probably put a little ring of onion in there and see what that will get us in just a second. But let me flip these steps. All right, let me bring, Mama, can you tilt that camera around this way? You're going to be the camera operator. And I got it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfection. Now, I'm only going to leave them on there three minutes. Three minutes. 123. Y'all keep an eye on me. Don't let me get carried away. All right? That's ribeyes. For today's lunch, I found those. We about waited until it was getting a 911 emergency. I found those, and uh, they were on sale. And there was three in a pack. So that's the reason we're having three today. But I love them for breakfast the next day. I will eat them and have them. I believe you like them for breakfast the next day as good as you do for lunch. I like a lot of things the next day better or as well as. All right. So these onions, I'm literally wringing them out and putting them right in here. Mama may not want to eat one, but she don't mind the flavor of. So these are big and easy to pick out. You got people that don't really like the big onion, but they like the flavor. That's going to be some cooked cabbage and onions. And I'm going to put some pink Himalayan sea salt on this because this is quick. This is easy. And then I'm out of black pepper in my shaker. We got another shaker mama. Yeah. I can use this tricolor pepper. It comes out a lot faster. Uh, no, I think that's right. And we'll put a little butter in these, and we'll put them over on the stove and let them just cook. And they'll be cooked by the time the potatoes are. You gonna do? It? Uh -huh. Well, bless you, mom. And those will be cooked by the time the potatoes are. And we're gonna have, you guessed it, ribeyes, baked potato, and cabbage, and. As a side, we've got a few 
macaroni and cheese left in there from when we had macaroni and cheese. Uh, what, what day was it, Mom? Uh, so if we want that, we will add that to it, too. I don't know if I want macaroni and cheese with cabbage. I'm focusing on cabbage today. Uh, I love good cooked cabbage with a little butter and salt and pepper. And a, just a little bit of onion. Not enough onion to run your day or anything, okay? Let's go right over here. Have you ever seen anybody fix ribeyes in a, in a uh, electric skillet? I like it in black iron. I like it on a grill. But I'm telling you, if you got some heat, you can have whatever you need. Look at all that water. These are done and done. What a great thing. I'm going to wash this thing plate out. To let these rest. Now, I'm not using a dirty plate. I just washed this one that we had it in when it was raw. I'm going to put it back over in it when it rests. Look at that. Look at that. It almost makes me wish I had something to fry in this wonderful. In this wonderful uh, drippings. for me not to want to use that for gravy or something. But I won't. I won't. I'm going to get Mama's. Mama, there's water here. Don't fall. Oh, that's Could have come off that lid. It'll be alright. I'm going to go ahead and check this meat. Get it. Um, I know you can fix. You're going to put butter on it or is it got enough spices? On the meat? Yeah. I didn't make a compound butter. Um, sometimes we do that. And you can go ahead and put a just plain butter, Mama. Soft butter will be great. Nothing wrong with that. I didn't make a compound spicy butter. But I put... Um, steakhouse seasoning on it for y'all's and Southern Secrets. So as far as delicious flavor, it has it. It has it. Come right down here and we'll look at this meat. I'm gonna wait this a second for you. Let me cut some of this fat off. Ribeyes have that fat profile on them because that's a lot of flavor. But really and truly, you just eat the weight. You don't worry about eating that fat part. There you go. Mmm. Everything is beautiful with a little butter. Look at that. Now that fat, you may not like that, but that did lend some flavor. And that's what you find with the ribeye. New York strip, strips are used a little leaner, but the ribeye is definitely my favorite meat choice. I just don't keep the fat on it. I'll just lay that over there. A lot of times mom will say, clean the fat off that. Cause she ain't interested in it either. Now I won't be giving that fat to Abby, even though it sounds like a great idea. Don't give your your pets fat like at Thanksgiving, Easter, Christmas. When you do a, when you do something like this, give them a piece of lean every once in a while. I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. 
But if you give them pure fat, it can cause them, their bodies can't process all that, and it will cause them to go into acute pancreatitis. Uh, and nobody would want that. It would really hurt me. I wouldn't get over it if I thought I ever hurt an animal or any, anything because I knew better and did it. So we don't even, we wouldn't even consider it. Now I may give her a piece of this meat if uh, she, if we have a big piece left or something and probably get in trouble with the vet with that, but I don't believe it would be as bad as, I wouldn't worry about it like they do the fat. They got a little dunner than I like, but they're probably about as done as mama likes. Now these pieces of fat, it's got this lean on it. You could throw this in a soup, let it render off and let that meat be in there. There's still, it's still good if you want to use it for flavor. But as far as being on your plate for your meal, probably you don't want it on there. That's got a little streak of fat there, but there's the ribeyes resting away. Gonna be delicious and good for you. Good protein, good protein. We've got our y'all sweet tea already ready to go here. We've got cabbage cooking with a little bit of onion. And we got baked potatoes in the oven. Now the cabbage today is going to act very much like our salad would. I feel like I haven't got to talk to y'all never because I couldn't see comments yesterday. I did go back last night and some of y'all were enjoying the scenery. Um, and one of you, or several of you said, uh, we can't see, you're just sitting inside the car. The next time I'll turn it, but this time I was a little gun shy because I took you up to the cemetery one time and I thought I was showing you all the flowers and, and all I was showing you was white looking windshield. So I hadn't done that since then, but I seen the videos and it looked like you all could see pretty good. So the next time I will show you more of the out great outdoors. But I was just a little uh, thinking, what if all I'm showing them is a white blurry screen like before? Here, check the potato, please. Yes, ma'am. Now, there. these are hot. So when you're opening them, take your lid and flip it this way. See what I'm saying? There's a lot of heat in there. These are done. I can tell by looking at them. Um, the skin has come off. That's perfect. Those are done, done. And I'm going to put the lid right back on and just let them sit there a second. And we're ready to eat. This did not, this was not a long lingering. Not the cabbage. The cabbage will be. Is it boiled yet? No. You got it on high, high, Mom? I got it on high, high, as high as it would go. Well, you should have boiled. It's boiling. It's, it's Mom said it's boiling. Mom was just trying to scare me up. It's boiling. I can hear it. So let's see what y'all are up to, what you are saying. What do you have for St. Patrick's? Get the pepper on it and stuff. I just sprinkled some black table pepper on it because I just put a little of this tricolor on it. Because my black table pepper is down, look, you can see that. It's because somebody here uses a tremendous amount of pepper. I don't even know who it is. It might be mama. But I've got some pepper here that I bought. I bought the big bulk off the Amazon. And I put one little hole in it because I don't want pepper everywhere. Let's fill our pepper shakers. Maybe y'all need to fill yours too. If you're having cabbage and stuff today, I know you probably do. Usually, when I fill pepper shakers, I fill everyone in the house. But this one here is the number one used one. So, it needs, and y'all can tell we use quite a bit of pepper here. I love pepper on eggs, I love pepper on soup, I love pepper on everything. You make your salads black. Twice. I have layers, I do layers. I'll make the whole top black with black pepper and then I'll come right behind there after I eat all that off and I'll put another layer. So if I eat it in layers. Let me get this in 
Yes, ma'am, right here. Here you go. Napkins for everyone. We're fancy like that. We don't need to show our napkins. Uh, leftover pizza. That sounds good, Wanda. Nothing wrong with leftovers. Pizza we included. We might have had pizza today, too. Just clean the wooden floor. My five-year-old grandson is coming for spring break this afternoon. She always tells me. Ah, Casey, I can't read the rest of it. All right, Molly, I can't read the rest of it. But it's cleaning for the grandbabies to come, that's a good thing. Hello, Susan from Utah. Hey, Donna, how are you? I love black pepper, too. Corned beef. We would have had probably corned beef today. I was, I've been working on a new recipe, and I am going to fix it maybe the next week because I've got smoked sausage in there. So we may revisit the whole cabbage smoked sausage thing, but it's different than I've ever made. And y'all have seen me make plenty of smoked sausage and cabbage. It's completely different than I've ever made or ever even eaten. That's your little clue. It's totally and completely different. But I can't wait because it's what I fixed forever, but it's a whole new spin on it. And I just can't imagine it couldn't be good. Can't imagine. How's your cabbage now, Mama? I think it'll be alright. Ain't it funny? You're fixing ribeyes. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> That pepper. Ribeyes, baked potato, and cabbage. And cabbage is the one that's taking the longest. You Maybe know you, you had to cut it up. Get your potatoes and all. You know you are doing good. Uh, you know you're doing good when uh, if the meal is the fast, the cabbage is the longest. Now, let me go ahead and get Mama's fixed. Because he wants it a certain way now. So we cross hatch this way. And that gets it all mixed in there in this way. And then, go ahead and put your butter on there. Let that butter be getting down in those little cross hatches you made. Ain't that right, Mama? Yeah. Good and buttery. Good and buttery. Mama will want sour cream and cheese and... I'm having to open this up. We'll have to stir it up. And all the goodies. Is that how y'all eat your potato? And I usually eat my skin. Nah, I don't. Mama just holds hers out. But I like the flavor of the peeling. And I also think there's a lot of nutritional value in there. And you put those two things together. That's a winner, winner, tater dinner. Ain't it? Mm -hmm. I hope whatever you're eating today, you're enjoying it. I hope you're... Uh, Counting your blessings. I hope the skies is as blue at your house as they are here. And the weather, it's 66 out there. It's absolutely perfect. It feels perfect. The whole day has just been great. In fact, we were standing around there at church after church, and somebody was talking about the weather. I said, I hope it's this pretty Easter, which is two weeks away. Next Sunday is Palm Sunday. And then Easter. Palm Sunday and then Easter. All right. <clears throat> so taters are done. Taters are ready for eating. And here's your cabbage if you want to. And I'm going to try to find Mama the best tenderest piece of steak. That's enough right now. That's all you want? Mm -hmm. I'll take these two little cut pieces. That you have want cheese them. down that way? Uh, no, ma'am. I'll take these pieces right here. They're a little bit, got a little fat line in them, but that's okay. Now you're, here, I'm gonna show them this cabbage. Here's that beautiful cabbage. Look at that, folks. Now that's some good eats right there. That is just cooked cabbage, not fried. It was put in a little bit of water, but with that salt, it'll bring that out. Mama, you want cabbage only? Yeah. Now, Mama will have no problem with onion flavoring. That's good. 
but it's just that onion, the raw onion, but that's cooked, it so it could be. Good. And look here, I'm, I'm peppered up and ready to go. Now, I put quite a bit of black pepper. Mm -hmm. This may be a trigger warning. If you don't like a lot of pepper, you may think. Pepper is beautiful on cabbage and potatoes. <coughs> <coughs> Mama says, <coughs> You having any cabbage with that pepper? I want salt, please, for my potato. Yeah, you eat pepper. Mama makes fun of my eating habits sometimes. You eat a lot of pepper. Now, folks, we started this with y'all. We just had put the steaks on when y'all come in. And so we did this in a hurry. Let's bless it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful meal. We thank you for the loved ones and the friends that are gathered here today. And we just want you to be with them in their prayer requests, your Lord, and all the things that they need and the desires of their hearts, dear Lord. We just pray that you'll be with them, watch over them, guide and direct them. And Lord, we thank you so much for your blessings and your mercy and your grace. In your precious name, we pray and ask these things. Amen. Amen. All right. I started to say, I've got to go for the cabbage first. Y'all want a bite? Oh. It's good. I put a little butter in it, and I think, well, that ain't enough. So I'll put a little bit more, and it's got a good butter flavor. You know, as good as cabbage is, and as much as I love it, why don't I eat it every day? myself that question and that purple onion is so good mm. Mm. that potato was hot under that sour cream <laughs> yeah a little warm on them taters mom mm -hmm. but, sour cream was cool when that potato come through Woo. that's what I like to put sour cream on mine I could eat it plain but the sour cream keeps it moderately edible so you don't burn your tongue. Oh, that's good. I fixed the steaks, Mama, more your style. They're thinner. These are not big old thick ribeyes or anything. I guess that's the reason I got them. How much you remember I paid for these three? Like 11 or 12 dollars something. I remember Mama saying, you got those ribeyes for a better deal than you can buy a hamburger. I said, yes ma'am. I think you got all three of these for like 10 or $11 and, yeah. or not more. Hamburger costs more than that. And a package of hamburger was 12 something. Big package. Mm -hmm. It was somewhere around there. It's good. The carriage is good with it. Mmm. This is a meal fit for royalty, Mama. Mm-hmm. Well, I am a queen, you know. You are. <laughs> you know, I always worry about the the royals. Do they ever get a good bowl of cabbage? They probably used to their food what they like better. Well, I'm sure, but cabbage is so good, I just think everybody already has a little taste of it. Mmm. Everything's delicious. I have a piece of onion. I'm going to try it. How are you? Mm -hmm. I really don't think it would hurt you, Mama, because it's not a yellow onion, and it's uh, kind of mild, and it's cooked. It was good with the butter on it. Very good. We need to start eating it more often, Mama. I am going to fix it another, another day before too long, because... I've got this recipe in my mind. I'm wanting to try it. It's very delicious. Hope y'all are having something good today. Tell us what you're having. Because sometimes I look at your all stuff and then I think next week I can fix that. Makes you want it. <clears throat> Can you 
Uh -huh. Somebody's getting on to somebody. Cabbage is green. Yes, it is. Corn beef, yeah. Corn beef would be good. I could have had corn beef with this cabbage, but um, I didn't. I also saw some beautiful Reuben sliders. I thought, mm, that would be good. Mm. I love Reuben. One of my favorite sandwiches, really. If I go out for fast food, a lot of times I end up at at the Ruben store. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about the Arby. Um, not sponsored or anything, but they do have Rubens in our area anyway. I've made Rubens on here, and I've made uh, corned beef and cabbage on here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Both of them are delicious. <coughs> you alright? <coughs> <Yeah. coughs> what are you going to do today? Oh, I don't know. You didn't get your Sunday drive out of the way. I know it. It's about to get on to a little fella for weed eating on Sunday. She was. Well, that piece should incorporate. Has a piece of fat? Mm hmm, but I peeled it out, Mom. You know what? I think I'm going to plan and I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to plan on doing nothing today. I'm going to plan on just sitting, maybe find a, a movie or something on Netflix that's a good movie. Too many recommendations, good movies. Now, I don't want any foolishness or nothing. Funny, but not foolishness. Um, find something like that. And I might just read a book. Mm -hmm. It's that kind of day. I go out in the swing and sit with Abby and read me a book. I'm telling you. Mom and I are pretty simple and we probably are boring to y'all. And I do apologize. We don't mean to be. But it's just nice to be content with the simple things and just enjoy might go visit today or something. That would be fun. <coughs> I don't know. But I'm not making any plans today. I'm just going to be casual. Maybe somebody will stop by here today. Relaxing. And relaxing don't always mean going to bed. Or going to take a nap. I'm not a big napper. Not because I'm so gun ho to do everything. It just, if I lay down and even sleep 30 minutes or something, I'm ruined. It gets I'm me. Not. I can't sleep well at night. I can't, I'm not sleepy at the right times. Like a 30 minute nap may energize me to the point it'd be two o'clock before I could go to sleep. Breathe the email, something like that. Now, I have been able to take a 10 minute nap or something and have something to do with eating and have enough energy to get it done and it feels good, but. I can't be going to bed. Like take a, if I took a two hour nap on a Sunday, I've heard people say that, oh, that's it, it's over. I would have no sleep tonight. Mama will take a two hour nap sometime. Do you sleep good at night, Mama? No, not really. I sleep when I get sleepy. <laughs> it's alright, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Well, Mama, you got anything you want to add today? No, everything's good. Everything's good? We're just sitting here eating, enjoying our Sunday. Mm -hmm. If not, Mama, we'll let them go. Yeah, I'll let them Happy go. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Sorry I didn't have no yeah. rings. I got enough on for you. We'll day. focus on Mama. 
necklace and earrings and shit. Right. Right. She's pretty. Look how pretty. <laughs> I love that necklace. Where'd you get the necklace and earrings? Somebody sent it to me. Just said. It matches the shirt. Excuse me. You got the hiccups. I know it. <laughs> well, I hope I ain't growing. <laughs> Well, it wouldn't hurt to put a little few little inches. No, the little inch is taller, but it's not works that way after you get old. And you just get dry with it. Oh. All right. Well, Mom, say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, everybody. God bless you. I'll have a wonderful day. Bye. You'll have a blessed day. And then, Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. And who knows, we might even cook something. Mm -hmm. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye.